So welcome to my October favorites video where I share with you everything that I purchased during the month of October using my own money. These were no brand deals, no freebies, no gifts, no brand collaborations, things I wanted so I bought for myself. Everything will be listed in the description box and pinned in the comments if you're interested and would like to get anything for yourself. So I want to start off with this beautiful sweater. You all know I love fuchsia. It is my favorite color to wear along with Kelly Green. And I wanted a thin v-neck sweater. I saw this one on Amazon. It was screaming my name. It's actually called Deep Rose on Amazon. And for all the clothes I'm going to show you, I will put the color and size that I'm wearing in the description box as well. But this one is called Deep Rose. It has these little decorative designs in the fabric itself. And I just think it is such a classy, great sweater to wear on a cool day. This sweater comes in lots of different colors, but I just thought this deep rose color was stunning. Then I bought some new earrings. I have about five... <laughs> Then Pollux is dying to help me over here. Then I bought myself some new earrings, these dangle hoop earrings. I have about five pairs of earrings that I just wear on rotation over and over, and I wanted something new. I wanted gold, I wanted dangle, and these were it, y'all. These earrings come in gold, silver, or rose gold, and these earrings are available in three sizes. I'm wearing the biggest hoop size, so if these look like they're a little too big for you, you could always go down a size or two, but I love that they're dainty. They're just a shiny little gold, just something that dangles from my ear. They are on a post. They're not a hook through your ear, which I love. Since the day that they arrived, I have worn these earrings. I love them in the gold. Gold, paired with all my gold jewelry. It's just my thing. And these are fantastic, beautiful, dainty earrings. Then Amazon had prime days in the month of October, and there were a couple house things that I needed, things I had been putting off and really wanted, but just didn't want to pay full price for. And oh, I got some great bargains. First thing that I bought was a brand new KitchenAid mixer. Our hand mixer had just kaput, gone kaput, and we were making do. We were just getting by, and one of the little thingies would fly off when you would use it. And I wanted this one. It has seven speeds. It has a digital control. You just push the little buttons right there, up or down, instead of pushing a button, which when I do that, I always jack it up a couple speeds and my stuff goes flying all over the kitchen. But this one has a light up digital screen. It does come with mixers and a beater attachment. Randy has made mashed potatoes with our new mixer. I've used it to make chocolate peanut butter balls. It is so sleek and full of so much power and absolutely worth the money that we spent for it. I also needed a new in-counter soap dispenser for my kitchen. When we redid our kitchen almost 20 years ago, we had a hole cut in the granite so that we could have a soap dispenser by the sink. Well, over the years, it's gotten gunked up and gummed up, didn't work, and actually squirted soap all over my brand new outfit the other day. And I said, that's it. There has got to be a way to replace this. Little did I know that $17 is all I had to spend to get a brand new soap dispenser replacement. So I bought a brand new silver soap dispenser Randy had this thing switched out in under two minutes. It just attaches like this. It screws together with your countertop in the middle. So it came with the bottle that I filled up with our favorite kitchen soap. You go underneath the cabinet, hold the bottle, screw in the lid, and boom, you have a brand new soap dispenser. It works. It looks great, so much better than our other dispenser. And, and for just those couple of dollars, I solved a problem that has been driving me crazy for years. Then you all know that my mother recently passed away and my father needed some new things in his house. And one of the things he needed, top of the list, was some new bedding. And I mean everything new. So I went over to his house, stripped his bed, and ordered him new sheets, a new mattress pad, a new blanket, and a new quilt. And when everything arrived, I took it over and made his bed up and he was so excited. And I got him all of the items that are on my very own bed and our two guest bedrooms upstairs. The sheets, the mattress pad, the quilt, and the blanket. And y'all, this, I'm serious about how good our bed stuff is. I've told you all about it before many, many times. This Sherpa Micro Mink blanket is the most luxurious 
the softest, the coziest blanket I've ever felt. I'm obsessed with this blanket. And when I told my dad what I was going to order for him, he's like, you know, okay, fine, whatever. You know, he's a man. He's 78 years old. He's like, fine, just give me something new. When the blanket showed up and he slept under it the first night, he called me in the morning and said, you weren't kidding. This blanket is really good. I said, I told you so. I told you so. And that is why I got it for my dad. So now everything on his bed is fresh and new and soft and cozy and perfect for him. And I'm so glad that he let me redo his bedding and he's loving all my choices. The next thing I ordered was for my hair. I go through this stuff like crazy. It is Bedhead Curls Rock Amplifier. I buy it in a two pack. It was on sale during prime days. I always need this stuff. My daughters use it as well. And Bedhead recently redid their packaging. This is what the new bottle looks like. And so I bought several of these during the month of October. And I did buy myself several new clothing items. And one of my favorites, this Kelly Green kind of elegant classed up sweatshirt. It's the cut of a sweatshirt, but it has a little bit of a waffle stripe material to it. But the main reason I love this sweatshirt is for these beautiful gold zippers that run up and down each side. So this sweatshirt is perfect to wear with leggings. You can zip and unzip the zippers halfway all the way. You can make the sweatshirt flowy or more fitted. This sweatshirt was so comfortable. I wore it out the other day doing errands. It was soft and cozy and I felt like I had on something better than just a sweatshirt. When you look on Amazon, this sweatshirt comes in more than 20 absolutely beautiful colors. If you're looking for a sweatshirt to wear with leggings, class it up a little bit, get this one with the gold zippers, and you can thank me later because I promise you're going to love it. The next thing I bought for myself from that same brand was this Hilo Dolman Sleeve Tunic. Now, high-low high means it's shorter in the front, longer in the back, but still perfect for leggings. I wanted this tunic for its dolman sleeve. See how long and thin and stretchy this sleeve is? So a dolman sleeve means you have a little bit of a drop shoulder and then this stretchy, skinny sleeve, which is perfect for pushing up. I love a dolman sleeve, and this tunic came in a crisp white. You have to be careful with a lot of sweaters because they will call themselves white, but they have kind of a yellow, creamy color to them. And I cannot do that with my gray hair. This sweater is a true white, a crisp white, and I adore this. Randy and I went out shopping the other day. He needed some new jeans. I wore my new dolman high-low sweater with these Java colored leggings. They're buttery soft. They have a little bit of tummy control at the top. And I paired the whole outfit with my new Brooks Revel 6 sneakers. Oh, I love Brooks. I've been raving about them to you all for years. This is the only sneaker brand that I will wear. And Brooks came out with this new white and khaki colored tennis shoe. Comes in lots of other color combinations too, but I loved this white and khaki. And with this outfit, it. I was rocking it, y'all. If you're looking for a very supportive, high quality tennis shoe, definitely check out the Brooks. They have lots of cuts and styles and, you know, all the different things. I love the Revel cut. They come out with a new skew of colors every season or so. So this is the new Revel 6 in the white and khaki. And of course, to go with my leggings and my new tennis shoes, I bought some new no-show socks. This was a four pack. It came with white, gray, black, and tan. These socks are super thin, very comfortable. They do not show when you're wearing tennis shoes. And I showed these in another video and said, I got a four pack because I needed all four colors. And somebody wrote a comment and said, well, Renee, how come you need all four colors if they're not gonna show? That's stupid. Well, y'all, I need my socks to match the inside of my tennis shoes. I've said this before, it's just a thing that I have. I know it's mental, but if I'm wearing white tennis shoes, I cannot wear black no-show socks. Even though you're not gonna see them, I, can, I cannot, in my mind, wear this color sock with a white tennis shoe. It would drive me crazy all day. So white tennis shoes have to have white socks. I have some black tennis shoes that I have to wear black socks. So that is why I bought the multicolor four pack. And I bought myself a new to-do list notepad. I found myself 
needing a smaller notepad that I could just jot things down, just quick thoughts, quick moments, little chores, things I needed to do throughout the day. And I love my bigger to-do notepad that I've shared with you all in many videos. I just needed a multi-purpose to-do pad. And this is the one that I purchased. It's a smaller sheet. It's not a full size. It's just a to-do list plenty of room to write lots and lots of things. You can check them off here. This was my sheet for today. I love a to-do list. You all know this about me. I'm super organized. I like to have things written down. I like to see them. I don't want them on my computer. I want them on a piece of paper. I'm much more productive and organized when I have things on a to-do list. And this is my new October favorite. Then during Amazon Prime Days, I bought a brand new Happy Light for my daughter that lives in Milwaukee. It's cold, she can't go outside, she's missing the sunshine, and she always hears me talking about how much I love my happy light and how important it is to me and all the benefits I get from sitting in front of my happy light. So it was on sale during Prime Days and I bought one for her. She wanted the gold version to be a little bit fancier, but she has it setting near her computer every morning when she's working. She has the happy light shining in her face. And I'm so glad that she's reported back that she's feeling the positives from using the happy light and it's something that I recommend to everybody. My happy light and now Kendall's happy light is so phenomenal. You can choose the brightness you prefer, the color of light you prefer, and it has a timer button that runs in five minute increments. I use mine every day when it's too cold and gloomy and I can't get outside and I highly recommend a happy light to anybody that gets the winter blues or the winter blahs and just doesn't have energy. Try the happy light and see if it works for you. Oh and I almost forgot I got a brand new pair of reading glasses from a brand called Silhouette. Their frames are sold on Amazon and you just take your frame to your eye doctor and they will put your prescription lenses in there. Mine are reading glasses. I just need them for up close. This frame comes in lots of different colors. The one I chose is called Olive Lace. It has a, like a gradient in the frame. It's darker up top, lighter at the bottom. It does have a very faint olive hue to it. The little ear pieces have olive on the side, but they're so incredibly lightweight. I needed a second pair of glasses. I can't stand to feel the heaviness on my eyes because I'm always wearing my glasses when I'm on my phone or on my computer or reading a book or at a restaurant reading a menu. I fell in love with these and I'm so glad that I bought them. And one of my favorite things I bought is this two-piece waffle lounge set that I now own in three different colors. I own two solids and this black and white striped version. I wore this on Halloween because it was so cold out and y'all, I was so cozy that when it came time for me to get dressed up because I did dress up for Halloween, I did not want to take this waffle set off because I loved it. But it is so cozy and flowy. It's not heavy. It's a medium weight lounge set, but cute enough. You can wear it out. You can wear it at home. It's just absolutely adorable. Came in so many great colors, several with stripes, lots of solids, and I think it is one of my favorite purchases so far this winter. Then I bought two more clothing items. One was this super cute striped color block t-shirt, long sleeve t-shirt. It is the material of a buttery soft worn in t-shirt not thick not thin but i love the large three color block sections comes in so many great colors i actually ordered myself two one of them hasn't shown up yet it's taking forever to get here it's burgundy white and black and i want to wear it with my new favorite joggers so that will be here soon hopefully i'll share it in another video but this long sleeve color block tee you cannot go wrong with this. I'm loving the khaki color that I bought paired with jeans. So cute. Then I needed a jacket that was thin, not a winter coat, long enough to cover my behind if I'm wearing leggings. And I bought this quilted lightweight jacket. It does have a hood, snap buttons in the front, got it in the olive green, super cute. I wore it out the other day when it was cool and windy and sort of drizzly and I had on leggings and tennis shoes and it was perfection. So those are my October favorites, everything I bought for myself. Perhaps you saw something that you might like to, so check out the links in the description box below, and I'll see you later.